Welcome back everybody. These are the films that we love of 1958. These are the best movies of 1958. All the classics, all the hits, all the drama, suspense, romance, thrillers, horror, you name it, we got it. Let's start with the films that we love of 1958. Let's check it out. <laughs> A Time to Love and A Time to Die, Drama, Romance, and War. On the Russian front in 1944, German Private Ernst Graber receives a leave and visits his family in Germany, but Germany isn't the same country he left behind. A Time to Love and A Time to Die, this movie is exquisite. Ambush at Cimarron Pass, Drama and Western. In 1867, a Yankee patrol joins forces with a group of ex-Confederate soldiers in order to cross Apache territory and reach the nearest fort. Ambush at Cimarron Pass. If you like drama and westerns, this movie is for you. Andy Hardy Comes Home. Comedy Andy Hardy, now a grown man with a wife and children, returns to his hometown on a business trip and finds himself getting mixed up in local politics. Andy Hardy comes home. Next up we have is Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. This movie is a classic horror and sci-fi thriller. When an ambushed socialite grows to giant size because of, because of an alien encounter and an aborted murder attempt, she goes after her cheating husband with revenge on her mind. Auntie Mame. Comedy, drama, and romance. An orphan goes to live with his free-spirited aunt. Conflict ensues when the executor of his father's estate objects to the aunt's lifestyle. Comedy, drama, and romance. Auntie Mame. Next we have the, cat, the classic Bell, Book, and Candle. Comedy, fantasy, and romance. A modern-day witch likes her neighbor but despises his fiancé. So she enchants him to love her instead. Bell, Book, and Candle, Witchery, Witchcraft, Comedy, and Fantasy. The Big Country, Drama, Romance, and Western. A New England sea captain in the 1880s arrives at his fiancée's sprawling Texas ranch, where he becomes embroiled in a feud between two families over a valuable patch of land. Next up, we have the classic Bitter Victory, Drama, and War. The commander receives a citation for an attack on General Irwin Rommel's headquarters, which is actually undeserved, as the commander is unfit for his job. Bitter victory. Next up we have is Bonjour Tristesse, drama and romance. Spoiled Cecil, 17, spends her summer at the French Riviera with her rich widower, playboy dad, and Elsa and her late mom's friend visits and brings changes to all. Bonjour Tristesse. Cat on a hot tin roof. Drama. Brick is an alcoholic ex-football player who drinks his days away and resists the, resists the affections of his wife. A reunion with his terminal father jogs a host of memories and revelations for them both. Cat on a hot tin roof. Corridors of Blood. Crime, horror, and thriller. Dr. Thomas Bolton fights for the use of anesthetic in surgery and uses himself as a guinea pig, but soon finds himself addicted. Corridors of Blood, featuring Boris Carla. Cowboy, drama, and western. An idealistic tenderfoot Chicago hotel clerk is taken on a cattle drive to Mexico by famous trail boss Tom Reese but discovers that cowboy life isn't what he expected. Next up we have is The Cry Baby Killer. Crime, drama, and thriller. A teenage boy panics and takes hostages when he thinks he's committed murder. The Cry Baby Killer will not disappoint. Harry Lauder, Jack Nicholson, and Carolyn Mitchell. Cry Terror. Crime, thriller, and mystery. Duped by former army pal Paul Hoplin into building a time bomb, 
New York shop owner Jim Molner and his family become hostages of Hoplin, who uses bomb threats to extort money from airlines. Damn Yankees. Comedy, musical, and romance. A frustrated fan of the hopeless Washington Senators makes a pact with the devil to help the baseball team win the league pennant. Damn Yankees. Cab Hunter and Gwen Verna. Day of the Bad Man. Judge Jim Scott must contend with the vicious relative of a murderer he's about to sentence and his unfaithful fiance. Day of the Bad Man is a Western. Fred McMurray, Joan Weldon. Next up we have is The Defiant One, Crime and Drama. Two chained together escaped convicts, white and black, must learn to get along in order to elude capture. The Defiant Ones, it was ahead of its time, it was a scorcher, it was a thriller. Crime and drama, one of the great ones. Desert Hell, Adventure and War In the Saharan Desert, a French legionnaire's captain disobeys orders and leads his patrol to a suicide mission while he is impersonal in conflict with his lieutenant. Desert Hell, Brian Keith and Barbara Hale Horror of Dracula, Drama, Horror and Thriller Jonathan Harper rouses the ire of Count Dracula after he accepts a job at the vampire's castle under false pretenses. Drama, horror, sensational shock show, and thrill. Fort Dobbs. Eluding a sheriff's posse, an escaped man saves a farming family from a Comanche attack and escorts it to the nearby Fort Dobbs. Fort Dobbs starting Clint Walker is drama and western. This movie is good, you gotta check it out. Frankenstein, 1970, horror, sci-fi, and thriller. Needing money, the last member of the Frankenstein family leases his family's castle out to film and company as he tries to continue his ancestors' gruesome experiments to create life. Frankenstein, 1970, featuring Boris Karloff. From Hell to Texas, at the ranch hand Todd Loman accidentally kills the son of a powerful rancher he panics and flees, but the rancher and his vengeful crew hunt Todd down. Action, romance, and western. The Geisha Boy, featuring Jerry Lewis. Comedy, Gilbert Woolley, Mr. Woolley. Gilbert Woolley is a second-rate magician who was sent to entertain the troops in the Pacific. During his time in Japan, he becomes attached to a little orphan boy. Mr. Woolley, Mr. Woolley. When you watch the film, you'll understand. Mr. Willy. <laughs> Giant from the Unknown. Drama horror. Look at that movie poster. A very large, degenerate Spanish conqueror is freed from suspended animation by lightning and goes on a killing spree in a small town. Giant from the Unknown. GG. Comedy, musical, and romance. Weary of the conventions of Parisian society, a rich playboy and a youthful courtesan in training enjoy a platonic friendship, which may not stay platonic for too long. Gigi, Leslie Caron, Maurice Chevalier. God's Little Acre, comedy, drama, and romance. In the 1950s, a poor Georgia cotton farmer and his sons search for the gold presumably buried on the farm by the great-grandfather, but problems related to poverty and infidelity ensue. The Gunrunners, crime, drama, and thriller. The Cuban misadventures of a Florida smuggler at the time of the Cuban Revolution. The Gunrunner, heading hot adventure. This movie is a scorcher. Wait till you see it. High School Confidential. Crime and drama. A tough kid comes to a new high school and begins muscling his way into the drug scene. This is a typical morality play of the era, filled with naive view of drugs, nihilistic meat poetry. Crime drama. High school confidential. The H-Man. Crime, horror, and sci-fi. 
When a narcotics deal goes sour and a suspect disappears, leaving only his clothes, Tokyo police question his wife and stake out the nightclub where she worked. The H-Man. Next up we have is Hot Spell. Drama. A housewife is doing her best to keep her family together as it's slowly falling apart, a fact she's trying to ignore. Hot Spell. Shirley Booth and Anthony Quinn. You'll remember Shirley Booth from Hazel. Next up we have is Houseboat, Sophia Loren and Cary Grant. Comedy, drama, and family. A widower, his three young children, and an Italian nanny get to know each other better when circumstances have them living together aboard a badly neglected houseboat. Presto, presto, do the very best. Presto. <laughs> I want to live. Biography, crime, and drama. A prostitute sentenced to death for murder pleads her innocence. I Want to Live, featuring Susan Hayward. This is a great movie. Check it out. Next up we have is In the Money. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. Hunt Hall and the Bowery Boys. You cannot go wrong with the Bowery Boys. Satch is hired as a companion for a poodle on an ocean voyage from New York to London. What he doesn't know is that the people who hired him are actually diamond smugglers. In the Money. Next up we have is Indiscreet, comedy and romance between Cary Grant and Ingrid Bergman. An actress who has given up on love meets a suave banker and begins a flirtation with him, even though he's already married. Indiscreet, this movie will not disappoint. Two awesome actors, great movie. The end of the sixth happiness. A tenacious British woman becomes a missionary and runs an inn for traveling merchants in China during the Japanese invasion and the tumultuous years leading up to the Second World War. The end of the sixth happiness in where Bergman and Kurt Jenkins. Kathy O. Comedy and Drama A publicity man tries to hide a child from Star's brandiness from a magazine writer who happens to be his ex-wife. Kathy O. Dan Duria Jan Sterling and Patty McCormack. King Creole, Elvis Presley the King. Crime, drama, and musical. A troubled youth singing sets New Orleans rocket. With a sweet girl to love him and nightclubbers cheering, it seems he will shake it off his past and head for the top. King Creole. If you like Elvis Presley, you'll love King Creole. Lafayette Escadrille. Drama, romance, and war. American youth and flying ace flies for France in World War I. Meets and loves a French girl and a prostitute. You meet the slut, a prostitute, a hooker, back in 1958. The left-handed gun, drama and western. After his employer is murdered by rival cattlemen, a troubled and uneducated young cowboy vows revenge on the murderer. The left-handed gun will not disappoint stars a very young Paul Newman. Next up we have is Monsters on the Campus. Monsters! Horror, sci-fi, and thriller. The blood of a primitive fish exposed to gamma rays causes a benign research professor to regress to an ape-like bloodthirsty prehistoric hominid. Monster on the Campus. It'll leave you laughing with a bunch of jump scares. Man of the West. Drama and Western. A reformed outlaw becomes stranded after an aborted train robbery with two other passengers and is forced to rejoin his old outlaw band. Gary Cooper in Man of the West. This movie will not disappoint. It's a scorcher. Murder by Contract. Claude is a ruthless and efficient contract killer until he finds his next target is a woman. Murder by Contract. Contract. Vince Edwards. This movie is good. Riveting. Never Love a Stranger. Crime, Drama, and Romance. Following the life of an orphan and the events that change his life and lead him into a life of crime. Never Love a Stranger. Racket, New York. You'll love it. You'll love this movie. Next is a classic. One of my all-time favorites. No Time for Sergeant. 
Will Stockdale is a country bumpkin drafted into the Air Force and too dumb to realize he's driving everyone around him crazy. No one more than Sergeant King. No time for Sergeant. Featuring Andy Griffith. Next up we have is Paris Holiday. Action, comedy, and romance. American actor Bob Hunter travels to Paris to purchase the rights to a highly sought after script and meets his French counterpart Fernandale along the way. Paris Holiday. Bob Hope. This movie is awesome. 10 North Frederick. Drama, music, and mystery. At his father's funeral, Joe Chaplin thinks back over the last five years of his life. Years of apparent political and personal failure dominated by a selfish and dissatisfied wife. 10 North Frederick. Featuring Gary Cooper. Rally round the flag, boys. Comedy. All about the citizens of Putnam's Landing and their reactions to an army missile base in their backyard. Rally round the flag, boys. Paul Newman, Joanne Winward, Joan Collins, and Jack Carson. Some came running. Drama and romance. A veteran returns home to deal with family secrets and small town scandals. Frank Sinatra. Dean Martin, Shirley MacLaine, Sam K. Running, Martha Heyer, and Arthur Kennedy. Next up we have is The Badlanders, Alan Ladd and Ernest Borgnine, Drama and Western. Released from the Yuma prison in 1898, ex-killer John McBain wants to go straight while ex-robber Peter Van Hoke seeks revenge. The Badlanders, Drama and Western. Queen of Outer Space. Look at, the, look at that poster. Adventure, family, and sci-fi. American astronauts are drawn by a mysterious force to the planet Venus, which they find to be inhabited only by beautiful women and their this, despotic queen. Queen of the Outer Space. The Revenge of Frankenstein. We dare you to see it. We double dare you to forget it. Horror and sci-fi. Having escaped execution and assumed an Elias, Baron Frankenstein transplants his deformed underling's brain into a perfect body. The Revenge of Frankenstein. Rockabye Baby. Comedy and musical. A TV repairman must care for the newborn triplets of his former hometown sweetheart, now a famous movie star, so her career will not suffer. Rockabye Baby, featuring the young comedy genius Jerry Lewis Run silent, run deep A U.S. sub commander obsessed with sinking a certain Japanese ship butts heads with his first officer and crew Action, drama, and war Clark Gable and Burt Lancaster Separate tables, drama, and romance The stories of several people are told as they stay at a seaside hotel in Burnhamouth which features dining at separate tables. This movie is exquisite. exquisite. Rita Hayward, Deborah Kerr, David Niven, Wendy Heiler, and Burt Lancaster. Sierra Baron. Western, set in 1848, California, about a brother and sister battling a crooked businessman over property rights. Sierra Baron. Brian Keith, Rick Jason, and Rita Gam. This movie is good. Check it out. Teacher's Pet, one of my all-time favorites, Clark Gable and Doris Day, comedy and romance. A hard-nosed newspaper editor poses as a night school student in order to woo a journalism teacher who cannot stand him. Teacher's Pet, this movie is awesome. Next up we have is Teenage Monster, horror, sci-fi, and western. In 1880, a young boy is exposed to the effects of a meteor and becomes an ugly killer monster as his mother hides him in her new house and tries to stop his killing. Teenage Monster. This movie is funny, but it also has a lot of jump scares and kills. Terror in a Texas Town. A Swedish whaler is out for revenge when he finds out that a greedy oil man murdered his father for their land. Drama and Western. Terror in a Texas Town. Next up we have is The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, 
action, adventure, and family. When a princess is shrunken by an evil wizard, Sinbad must undertake a quest to an island of monsters to cure her and prevent a war. The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad in Technicolor. This movie is fun. Next up, we have one of the greatest horror films of all time, The Blob. Horror sci-fi thriller. An alien life form consumes everything in its path as it grows and grows. Featuring a very young, I believe it's his first film, Steve McQueen. Oh, this movie is awesome. Next up we have is The Bravados with Gregory Peck, Joan Collins, and Stephen Boyd. A man is chasing four outlaws who killed his wife and finds them in a small town's jail. But they escape to Mexico. Drama and Western. Next up we have is The Case Against Brooklyn. Fact-based story of a rookie cop who takes on a crime syndicate involved in corrupting government officials in Brooklyn. Crime, drama, and thriller. The Case Against Brooklyn. Next up we have is the classic comedy uh, The Horse's Mouth. An ill-behaved, lovable, scruffy painter, Gully Jimson, searches for a perfect canvas. Determined to let nothing come between himself and the realization of his exalted vision. The Horse's Mouth, featuring Alec Guinness. This movie is funny and Alec Guinness is great. The Key, Drama, Romance and War. During World War II, successive tugboat British captains sent on dangerous salvage missions pass on the key to a home port apartment where a lonely Swiss-Italian young war widow lives. The Key, William Holden. The Light in the Forest, Adventure, Drama, and Family. A young white man who spent his whole life raised by Native Americans is sent to live with his birth family and must learn to fit in with people he was taught to hate. The Light in the Forest. This is a Walt Disney film. One of the best movies, The Long Hot Summer. Accused barn burner and con man Ben Quick arrives in a small Mississippi town and quickly ingratiates himself with its richest family, the Varners. The Long Hot Summer. Paul Newman, Joanne Woodward, and Anthony Francesca. Your past is showing. Comedy, a very British comedy about a blackmailer and his victim. The Naked Truth. Your past is showing. This movie is also known as The Naked Truth. You like comedy, you'll love The Naked Truth. The Roots of Heaven, Adventure and Drama. In French Equatorial Africa, an idealist ecologist starts a campaign of public awareness to help save the African elephant from extinction. The Roots of Heaven. Starring Errol Flynn. The Line Up, Crime, Drama, and Thriller. In San Francisco, a psychopathic gangster and his mentor retrieve heroin packages carried by unsuspecting travelers. Too hot, too big for TV. The lineup. Thunder Road. Crime, drama, and thriller. A veteran comes home from the Korean War to the mountains and takes over the family moonshining business. Robert Mitchum roars down the hottest highway on earth. Thunder Road. Next up we have is Tom Thumb. Family, fantasy, and musical. A boy, no bigger than a thumb, manages to outwit two thieves, determined to make a fortune from him. Tom Thumb. Family, fantasy, and musical. You'll love this movie. Next up we have is the classic Torpedo Run. Drama and War. A submarine commander is forced to blow up a Japanese ship with prisoners. Torpedo Run. Featuring Glenn Ford and Ernest Borgnine. Those two made a great movie. Check out Torpedo Run. It's nail biting. Touch of Evil. Crime, Drama, and Thriller. A stark, perverse story of murder, kidnapping, and police corruption in a Mexican border town. Touch of Evil. The strangest vengeance ever planned. 
one of the best hits of all time, Vertigo, mystery, romance, and thriller. A former San Francisco police detective juggles wrestling with his personal demons and becoming obsessed with the hauntingly beautiful woman he has been hired to trail. Vertigo, James Stewart, and Kim Novak. This movie is one for the ages. The Viking, action, adventure, and history. A slave and a Viking prince fight for the love of a captain princess. Kirk Douglas, Tony Curtis, Ernest Borgnine, and Janet Lee. The Viking. Via, adventure and western. Tale of the Mexican Re revolutionary Pancho Villa. This movie is great if you like adventure and western. Give Via a chance. You won't be disappointed. Next thing we have is Violent Road, Adventure and Drama. Truck drivers take cargo of explosives over bumpy mountain road. Violent Road, Adventure and Drama. This movie is good. It's riveting. This is a nail biter. I think you'll like the Violent Road. Next thing we have is The Young Lions, featuring Marlon Brando, Montgomery Cliff, and Dean Martin. Action, drama, and war. The lives of three young men, a German and two Americans, during World War II. This movie has great acting, great dialogue, great stage presence from all three actors. The Reluctant Debutante, comedy and romance. While visiting her father, an American teenage girl is thrown into London society during its debutante season. Rex Harrison and Kate Kendall. The Reluctant Debutante. This movie is great. It's a great feel-good movie. A Tale of Two Cities. Drama, History, and Romance. During the turbulent days of the French Revolution, French woman Lucy falls in love with Englishman Charles, who's hiding his true identity and purpose. A Tale of Two Cities. Ambush at Cimarron Pass. Drama and Western. In 1867, a Yankee patrol joins forces with a group of ex-Confederate soldiers in order to cross Apache territory and reach the nearest fort. Ambush at Cimarron Pass between Scott Brady. The Black Orchid, drama and romance. Anthony Quinn and Sophia Loren star as a longtime widower, Frank, and recently widowed Rose. Lonely hearts who discover something special in the Black Orchid. Drama and war and romance. This movie is touching. It's sad, but it's also feel good. Blood of the Vampire, horror, sci-fi, and thriller. In 1870s Transylvania, scientist Dr. Kelly Stratus is put to death by villagers who wrongly believe he's a vampire. Blood of the Vampire. Someone will exact revenge. The brothers Karmazov. Drama and warmth, <laughs> drama and romance, drama based on Russian writer Fyodor Dostoevsky, homonymous novel about the proud Karamazov family in 1870s Russia. The brothers Karamazov, Dunkirk, action, drama, and history, a dramatization of the British Expeditionary Forces 1940 retreat to the beaches of France and the extraordinary seaborne evacuation that saved it from utter destruction by Nazi Germany. Dunkirk. Love is my profession. Crime, drama, and romance. Married French lawyer Andre defends successfully the case of Yvette, who committed a robbery. He falls in love with her, but she isn't true to him. Love is my profession. Next that we have is Fast and Sexy. Comedy and Romance A beautiful, wealthy widow leaves New York to find herself a husband in the Italian village in which she was born. After many tries, she chooses the village blacksmith. Fast and sexy. The Quiet American Drama, Romance, and Thriller A young, naive American and a cynical older British diplomat disagree over politics in 1952 Vietnam and over a beautiful young native girl. 
Gunsmoke in Tucson. Western. Two brothers on opposite sides of the law become involved in a range war between farmers and cattlemen in Arizona. Gunsmoke in Tucson. Next up we have is the movie Hercules. Adventure, Fantasy, and History. The muscular Hercules performs his labors, sails with the Ar Argonauts, and romances the fair Lowe. Steve Reeves and Sylvia Tachina. Hercules. This movie is great. I Want to Live. Biography, Crime, and Drama. A prostitute, a slut, a whore. Sentenced to death for murder, Please, her innocent. A skank. A trollop. I want to live. Check it out. In Love and War. Drama and War. In 1944, the family, li the family lives of three San Francisco Marines are affected by their personal experiences on the front lines in the Pacific and vice versa. In Love and War. In Cinema School. Kings go forth. Action, drama, and romance. Toward the end of World War II, two American soldiers fighting in southern France become romantically involved with a young American woman. Kings go forth. Frank Sinatra, Tony Curtis, and Natalie Wood. The Last Hurrah. Drama. Frank is an old Irish-American political boss running for re-election as mayor of a U.S. town for the last time. The Last Hurrah. Spencer Tracy, The Last Hurrah. This movie is a nail-biter. Machine Gun Kelly, Action Biography and Crime. The criminal exploits of public enemy number one, George Machine Gun Kelly, during the 1930s. Without his gun, he was naked yellow. Next up we have is the classic movie, the musical Mardi Gras. A military school cadet Boone wins a date with a French movie goddess who happens to be the queen of the Mardi Gras parade. Mardi Gras. This movie is fun. You like to dance? Check out Mardi Gras. Marjorie Morningstar. Drama and romance. At 18, Marjorie Morgenstern is the proverbial New York Jewish American princess on the cusp of womanhood. Marjorie Morningstar. Drama and Romance. The Naked and the Dead. Drama and War. Set during the Pacific War against the Japanese, this World War II drama discerns between achieving one's mission at any cost versus preserving the lives under one's command. The Naked and the Dead. If you like war movies, you'll love this movie. Separate Tables Drama Romance The stories of several people are told as they stay at a seaside hotel in Bournemouth, which features dining at separate tables. This features Rita Hayworth, Deborah Kerr, David, Nib David Nibman, and Wendy Hiller. Next that we have is Shadow Showdown at Boot Hill. A deputy marshal kills a murderer in a town that loved him. And when no one is willing to identify him, he can't collect any reward. Showdown at Boot Hill. This movie is great. Check it out. The Sheriff of Fractured Jaw. Comedy, romance, and western. After inadvertently stopping an Indian attack on his stagecoach while traveling in the American West, an English gentleman finds himself appointed sheriff on a nearby town. The Sheriff of Fractured Jaw. The Barbarian and the Geisha. Adventure, Drama, and History. In 1856, the first U.S. Consul General to Japan encounters the hostility of the local authorities and the love of a young Geisha. The Barbarian and the Geisha. The Female Animal. Drama, Thriller, and Romance. An aging film star and her alcoholic daughter compete for a handsome extra. The female animal. Next up we have is 
the action, drama, and romance, The Hunter. In 1952, during the Korean War, two American pilots become bitter enemies over the same woman, but must shelf their personal feud when confronted by deadly Chinese MiG fighters, jets, in battle. The Hunter become the hunted. The Old Man and the Sea, Adventure and Drama An old Cuban fisherman's dry spell is broken when he hooks a gigantic fish that drags him out to sea. The Old Man and the Sea, featuring the legendary Spencer Tracy. The Sign of Zorro, Adventure, Drama, and Family Don Diego returns from Spain to challenge the cruel tyranny of Monasterio. The Sign of Zorro this is a Walt Disney production. This movie is a make you feel good movie. So check it out. The Buccaneer. Adventure, drama, and history. During the War of 1812, Louisiana Buccaneer Jean Lafitte assists the American in defending New Orleans against the attacking British war fleet. The Buccaneer. Yul Brenner, Claire Bloom, and Charles Boyer. The Colossus of New York, horror, sci-fi, and thriller. A brilliant surgeon encases his dead son's brain in a large robot body with unintended results. The Colossus of New York has a lot of jump scares and kills. The Proud Rebel, a Confederate veteran living in the Yankee North, struggles with his son's shock-induced mutinous and the hate of the Northerners. Drama and Western, The Proud Rebel, featuring Alan Ladd. Next up we have is The Roots of Heaven, Adventure and Drama. In French Equatorial Africa, an idealist ecologist starts a campaign of public awareness to help save the African elephants from extinction. The Roots of Heaven. Next up we have is The Sheepmen. Western. A brass stranger and his sheep arrive in a small town, but not soon after, the townspeople decide they've seen enough of him. The Sheep Man, Glenn Ford and Shirley MacLaine. Check out The Sheep Man. Too Much Too Soon. Biography, Drama, and Romance. The daughter of iconic actor John Barrymore becomes reunited with her father after a 10-year estrangement and engages in self-destructive lifestyle. Too much, too soon. You'll love it. The Viking A slave and a Viking prince fight for the love of a captain princess. The Vikings Action, Adventure, and History Next up we have is the classic Westbound, Drama and Western. In 1864, Captain John Hayes goes to Colorado to take over the stagecoach line and keep the flow of Western gold flowing and to help, and to help the North win the Civil War. Westbound, between Randolph Scott. Those were the films of 1958. Those were the best films of 1958. Mind you, it's not all inclusive, but there are some great movies in there. Many of them are great thrillers, romance, crime, drama, horror, sci-fi. Uh, I try to cover most of the movies that were released of that year. And again, not every movie is great, but when you look back, they're all very good because it's hardly any special effects, mostly just dialogue, just straight acting with all your favorite actors and actresses of the golden era of the 50s. All right, let me know if there's any films I left out of 1958. Give me your thoughts. What movies do you like best from 1958? All right, I'm Tony. You're watching Yesteryear TV. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.